Good morning students. My name is Mohit and I am a maths teacher in Mount Luton Z School, Chhasi. Today we will talk about factors and multiples. So what are factors and multiples? So let's talk, talk about it. First of all, terms to know. So before start, we have to know some important terms like what is factor. First of all, factors of a number are numbers that divides the given number completely without leaving any remainder. It means like if I am dividing any number with any number, the remainder will be zero. I will give the example also. Let's come to the next point. The number is a multiple of another number when it is exactly divisible by the other number. Means if I am dividing any number, that number is a multiple and by what I am dividing the number by which I am dividing the number is a factor. Let's take an example. Example number one like I can write that 2 multiplied by 5 it is 10. So it means if 2 and 5 multiply and gives the answer 10 it means 2 and 5 are the factors of 10 and 10 is a multiple of 2 and 5. So it means that 2 and 5 are the factors and 10 is a multiple why 2 and 5 is a factor because you know that if I divide 10 by 2 or by 5 it divides the number completely without leaving any remainder so like 5 2 is a 10 so 5 2 is a 10 10 minus 10 0 2 5 is a 10 10 minus 10 0 it means the remainders are 0 the remainders are 0 so 10 is a multiple and while 2 and 5 are factors now let's come to the next point the next topic is prime numbers prime numbers are numbers that have only two factors that is 1 and the number itself now if I see examples that is 2 5 3 also there, you can write 3 also, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, there are so many numbers, so many prime numbers are there. So these numbers are having only two factors, that is 1 and the number itself, like 2. How can I write 2? That is 2 1s are 2. It means 2 is divisible by 2 and 1 itself. So 2 and 1 are the factor of 2 while 2 is a multiple of these. So these are the two factors of 2. It means 2 is a prime number. Now, similarly, there is 3, 5, 7. They all come in the table of itself and the table of 1. So these numbers are having only two factors. That's why they are prime numbers. Now, let's talk about the uh, exceptional case that is 1. As I already told you that 1 is not a prime number because 1 is having only one factor that is itself. Because 1 1's are 1. We can write 1 into 1. That is only 1. 1 is having only one factor. That is 1. Now let's talk, uh, let's talk about the other number. That is composite number. Now composite numbers. Composite numbers are the numbers that have more than two factors. Example 12, 36, 54, 74, 16, 20. There are so many numbers. 
you can say that so they are composite numbers because they are having more than two factors for example if i write 36 i can write it 2 multiply by 18 even i can write it like 2 multiply by 3 multiply by 6 so there are so many factors of 36 like 2 multiply by 3 multiply by 6 can be written 2 multiply by 3 so this is having so many factors this number so the numbers which are having more than two factors are composite numbers but point to be noted that if two numbers if two numbers having only one as their common factor means if the two numbers are having one as their common factor means they doesn't come in the in the table of other number other than one so they are called co prime for example if i talk about 4 and 5 4 and 5 4 and 5 uh, 4 can be written as 2 multiply by 2 multiply by 1 1 can be written over here if you want and 5 can be written that 5 multiply by 1 it means 1 as their common factor so they are co prime similarly for 8 also 8 can be written as 2 multiply by 2 multiply by 2 and 1 you can also write 1 11 can be written as 11 multiply by 1 it means their 1 is a, their common factor so they are also co prime so these are co prime i hope you understand very carefully so all the best students